Hello everyone, and welcome back to GTA Online with Longclaw and Valerian Steel, where we always deliver. In this video, I'm going to be showing you a short guide to the nightclub business special orders. I'll explain the nature of the business and show you exactly how it works, and we'll have a look at some of the special order sales that I've been making recently. So let's head into my nightclub, and I'll get you into some detail. So here we are, the morning after, the night before. Now let's take a look. The nightclub business works in two ways. Firstly, you have the passive part of your business. Once you've purchased your nightclub and completed your setup missions, you will be up and running. These involve picking up some staff and collecting your initial DJs and the equipment. Once you do this, you will have access to your daily income, which is stored in your safe. So every in-game 45 minutes, you can earn up to 70,000 when your nightclub popularity bar is maxed out. Nightclub popularity is something that gradually decreases over time. So you have to keep this chopped up or your daily income available in your safe will be less than you expect. You can manage the popularity by promoting your club. These are fun little missions which see you taking out rival promoters, putting up flyers or even flying a blimp over the city and blasting out music. Fun though they may be, they take too long and they only offer small amounts of popularity. Once your nightclub is set up, you'll be encouraged to bring in more DJs. Each of these costs money to hire and you have to complete a short collection mission for each one. But once you have all four, you'll be able to use the DJs to manage your popularity. Simply switch them around each time you visit the club and this will increase your popularity. This costs 10,000 each time you do it, but it's worth it so you can get on with making some real money instead of faffing about with your promotions and this will keep your popularity bar at max. The next part of the nightclub business is the warehouse which can be stored beneath it. When you purchase the warehouse extension, you can start connecting seven of your other businesses like MC, Coke, Meth, Cash and Weed and a CEO warehouse as well as your hangar and your bunker too, as long as you own them. You can purchase and assign a warehouse technician to five of your businesses at any one time and each one will start to produce stock for you in your nightclub warehouse for no cost once you purchase them. Your businesses don't need to have stock in them, you just need to be active. In fact, your other businesses operate separately and this is all additional income. So once it's set up, it's totally passive and provides you with huge amounts of money daily. It's an awesome addition to the business setup and you need this to be active to make it big in the game and start rolling with some big bundles of cash. Once your bars start to fill up, you can move the techs around to the other businesses if you want to fill up all seven before you sell. This will give you around 1.5 million and takes about 24 real time hours to fill up and will require some AFK overnight. Don't forget your upgrades, these are important and they will help you to avoid being raided and make the stock accrue much quicker. But we're talking about special orders. These are smaller deliveries that refresh every hour and offer you a quicker way to access the money generated by your techs and gives you a nice little 10% bonus which wipes out Tony's outrageous cut for doing bugger all. Wait for your special orders to be ready and when you see one you like, hit it. The nightclub deliveries are easy and you can do them solo and it's going to be 100% successful as long as you don't get the vehicle stuck somewhere or put it in the water. They vary each time and you'll soon get used to the format. Most of the time you simply drop in off either one, two or three drops of stock and it's as simple as that. Sometimes the police will get involved and you'll just need to lose your wanted level before you get access to the backup location. But take your time and you'll get through it, no problem.
Other times, rival NPC gangs will come after you and you'll need to take them out. You can upgrade your delivery vehicles which are stored under your nightclub and add armour and weapons to make this easier. The amount you can make from the special orders depends on the stock required and you can switch your techs around if you need to to hurry this process up. You can choose to outrun the rival gangs or take them on if you prefer. In some missions, you have to take them on and wipe them out before you can complete the mission. Whatever you need to do, just get it sold. You can launch your missions from any laptop or PC inside your nightclub or even from your command center in the arcade basement. I usually knock these out in around five minutes max and do this a couple of times, if not three times a day, along with my bunker and my MC businesses before hitting my CEO network. There aren't that many variations and you will soon become pro and be able to smash these out in five minutes too. And the only restriction is time. The more you play, the more stock is produced by your techs and the more you can make from the special orders. The nightclub business is one of the best updates ever given in the game. It's a lot of fun to be had. It's not cheap, but you can start small and get all the trimmings over time. And when you do, the rewards are endless. A true grinder is never off the clock and there's always more work to be done. And that's all I have for you. I hope you enjoyed this video, thank you for supporting my channel and please show some love in this amazing community and I'll see you next time.